Hello, my name is Yi Ting. Welcome to this Global Goals video tour from my home studio. Goal 1 is about ending poverty in all its forms everywhere. This is one of the greatest global challenges. About 1 in 10 people on the planet still live in extreme poverty. On less than $1.90 or about €1.70 per day. Having so little money to spend means it's very hard to cover the basics. Food, healthcare, education, water and sanitation. Conflicts and natural disasters are even more devastating when people are poor. And now the COVID-19 pandemic has put those who were already vulnerable at even greater risk. The UN is rallying the world community to support the most vulnerable. At a high-level meeting on financing for development in May, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned that COVID-19 could cause hunger and famine of historic proportions. 60 million more people pushed into extreme poverty, up to half the global workforce, 1.6 billion people without livelihoods. This is an unprecedented crisis and this is indeed the worst recession since the Great Depression. The United Nations has launched a $2 billion global humanitarian response plan. The UN's humanitarian agencies are working 24-7 to deliver food, medical supplies and other aid around the world and support those who were already most vulnerable before COVID-19. For children, the extreme poverty rate is twice that of adults. Women are also more likely than men to be poor. The UN plan aims to build back better, achieve sustainable and inclusive economies which leave no one behind. How is the UN family in Vienna helping? Mostly with technical know-how. For example, the Vienna-based UN Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, helps people in poorer countries especially women, to make a better living from their work. This can mean anything from a training course in business skills to a new production machine or help with market access. The International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, also headquartered in Vienna, helps countries use nuclear technologies to fight hunger. They can raise crop yields and protect livestock from diseases. And the UN Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, helps farmers from Afghanistan to Peru find legal alternatives to growing drug crops like coca or poppy to make ends meet. COVID-19 risks erasing recent progress on poverty eradication and leaving poorer people and countries further behind. But with solidarity and a united global response, Secretary General Guterres says COVID-19 could offer a chance to shape a new normal that's better than before. With smart and timely action at all levels and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development as our guide, we can emerge from this crisis stronger, with better jobs and a brighter, more equal and greener future for all. The UN family in Vienna and around the world is working hard to end poverty in all its forms. If you want to help too, you can download the SDGs in Action app or check un.org for more ideas. Thank you for watching.